It's Upper Cape versus Lower Cape. It's the best in the West against the worst in the East. It's the Bourne Braves and the Chatham Anglers here from Veterans Field in Chatham. Welcome into a pregame Tomahawk Talk. Calvin Cristoforo, Reeves Jackson, and Daniel Coates with me. And Daniel, let's go back to last night. Let's start off where we always do. The Braves' magical season continues. A 4-3 to walk-off win against Orleans. Peter Burns, the hero, the single with two outs in the bottom of the ninth. Just a special night at Dorn Park. Well, worst in the East, but best against us. That's the Chatham true. Anglers are 0-1-1 against us, so we're trying to get our first win on the board against the Anglers here at their home field at Veterans Field. But, uh, yeah, Peter Burns, my BC kid, coming in clutch and getting his first hit of the entire game, and it came in the most dramatic fashion. And it just proves, again, that the Bourne Braves, not only do their late-night heroics come often and they keep coming, but they're also so good against the two-out mark where their backs are against the wall, and that's really where all of their offense is coming from. Even Braylon Wimmer had an RB sending in Christian Napchik last night with a two-out uh, situation ahead of him. And we talked about Caden Wallace and his departure and what that is going to mean. But Braylon Wimmer has made quite a smooth transition coming back to where he was in the middle and early part of this season. And proving that with two doubles or with two hits, I should say, one double and one single, that he can easily make up for Caden Wallace and don't think that we're going to see any sort of miscues coming up for him. Absolutely. It's kind of been a seamless transition like you alluded to in that left field spot. On the other side of things, the pitching, Nick Galley's favorite phrase on before the Bravos is three runs or less, avoid the mess. The Braves only give up three runs last night, get the 4-3 win. Michael Sansone gets the ball today. How does he avoid the mess? Well, a third run last night was pretty unexpected. It was on a, off a home run from Chatney off Eric Adler, but I think for Sansone it's just more the same of what he did the last time he faced this Chatham Angler scene at Veterans Field. Five innings out of relief for Hunter Omud, who struggled in that start. Really probably the Braves' worst start of the season. Obviously, Omud no longer with the team, but Sansone, who gets his first start against this Chatham Anglers team, coming off of his first start of the season against the Wareham Gateman, which he was excellent. Five shutout innings, second in the league in ERA at just an even one. And obviously, uh, against the Chatham Anglers team, eight strikeouts. So for Sansone, establish the changeup early Absolutely. to right-handed hitters. Chatham has a lot of righties in their lineup, especially big Lyle Miller-Green, who leads the league in strikeouts, also second in home runs. So establish that changeup as Sansone will, and he'll have another successful day. Well, here's a stat for you. Michael Sansone has pitched four times. He been, he's been interviewed after the game <laughs> as the player of the game four times. You won't find that on point streak, but it should be a fun one tonight between the Bravos and the A's. First pitch is set to go at 7 o'clock. It's Military Appreciation Night, so before the Bravos, we'll get you started a little bit earlier, right around 6.20 tonight, before Daniel and Reeves have the call. Enjoy the game, everybody, and as always, go Bravos.